Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to edit audio and music in Video Studio Pro X6. So to edit music what you need to do is first of all load the track up into your timeline like I've done here and then to edit it it's very very similar to editing your video tracks um, all you have to do is position the slider in the timeline to the point on the audio track which you want to cut and then just click the cut button and it will then split your audio track in half. Now you may think it's the only way of finding the correct point in the audio track to split it by listening to it through and then guessing when to stop the slider. Um, well the answer to that is no. You can look at the sound mixer and if you left click on that you'll see it loads up the, the track here and you can see everywhere where there's sound. So you may want to split it for example just here before it gets louder again. So if I split that there and then play it before that you see it fades and then it comes back in again. So if I then deleted that part and then left click on that and then came out of the sound mixer and then faded that out, it would actually fade out quite well. So I'll play that and you can hear there that it fades out quite well. So that's one way of editing your audio. Now there are a few things that you can do once you've edited it, once you've cut it up and removed the parts you don't want and that is you can add audio filters and you can change the speed. So to change the speed and add filters what you have to do is left click on the track, click options and then you'll see it says audio filter and speed time lapse. So first of all how to change the speed you left click on that and then there's a few different ways you can do this. One is to put a new clip duration so that is the length that you want the new clip to be. You can see it's currently 8 seconds and you can change that to whatever you want. So if I put 4 in there and then zero zero for this you'll see that it's changed this slider here now this is normal and it's increased it up to here so the further this way you go the faster it is and if I click OK now you'll see that the track has now got smaller so when we play this back you'll hear it's got a lot quicker OK so that's that way of doing it now the other way of doing it is to keep the track length the same here um, now this is probably what you'd use if you don't really know what the clip duration you want um, but there's a few ways, one is you can use the up and down arrows here which changes the percentages or the easy way is just to use the slider now like I said just slide it to the right to increase the speed, you can see it's increasing the number there and slide it to the left to decrease the speed so if we then decrease it you'll see that it makes the track length longer because we've added an extra 4 seconds on OK, so that's how you do the speed changing on your audio tracks and now I'm going to show you how to change the audio filter. So to apply your audio filters you click on that, left click on that and then you'll see it's a load of different filters here which are available. Now some you probably wouldn't even be able to tell that you've added because you'd obviously have to have a reason for using the filter, for example the hiss reduction. If your track didn't have any hiss on it then there's not a lot it can actually reduce. So I'm going to add something which you can actually tell um, I'm going to find something down here and that will be the long repeat so if I add that and then click OK you'll hear when I play it through that it will repeat it after it's played it now you obviously have to have a reason for using that um, because otherwise it wouldn't sound that good but for some projects it would be perfect for using and um, you just got to find the right project for it Okay, so if you then wanted to remove that filter, you just click remove, and if you had a whole list of them in here, then you just click remove all, and then click OK, and that's your audio filters done. So there are a few minor things that you can do now. One is the fades, and the other one is the volume. So just change the volume, it's very simple. Just change the slider here. The higher up you put it, the louder it will be, and the lower you do it, the quieter it will be. Now, you don't really want to be going to the red here because that's when you'll have reduced sound quality. Um, so if you're going to have it louder, then anywhere up to about here will be fine. Um, but try and stay out of the red if you can, unless you want to. Um, but obviously 100 is down here in the green, which is the default. And very quickly, like I showed you at the beginning, these two here are the fade in and out filters. I've already applied the fade out as you saw previously. Um, but to fade in you just left click on that and it will put a fade in effect in as well. So that is basically how you edit audio in Video Studio Pro X6.